In this video demonstration, I'm going to show you how to use the stencil sentiments. This set we're using is the anniversary ones and how we can actually use them as two separate ways. The first is simply cutting in the card, but the second is a way to actually do it so that we don't get any of the marks from the die on there. So I'm going to make up a little quick gold anniversary card. So I'm going to start with here. I've got a strip of just white card and this has been cut down to three quarters of an inch. And if you can see, that actually fits them perfectly. This is the perfect way, first of all, to add tags onto cards. So this allows you to actually make them first and then actually add the sentiment at a later date, which is something I've done here. See here, I've got two already sort of done backing ready and then I can add the specific event or anniversary or whatever on using this. So I've taped the anniversary down and we said we're going to do gold. So it's going to be a gold anniversary. So I'm just going to pop that evenly against the anniversary. And we're just going to tape that down. And it's quite simple. We run that through with a standard sandwich. Don't use any shims when you're using these dies because that will actually add to the impression. So just going to run it through quite simply. And we will have the gold anniversary running all the way through it. So I'm just going to trim off the excess there so that it's all nice and even. It's a really simple way to get it even. And I find these die sentiments so much easier to use than stamps. If you're not the best stamper or like me, you usually smudge it or get it uneven. This is a great way to do it. And it's something a little bit different that you don't usually see. So we're just going to take those bits out. And you can see there, I've got gold anniversary. I'm just going to use my glue eraser just to take any marks off. Quite simple. And then we can drop that behind. And what I'm going to do is give that a little spray with spray glue. And then I've got a piece here of gold card that I've cut to an inch wide, which just gives me that nice border on either side. And we can simply then trim that down and we can take one of our existing cards and let's go. Ooh, that looks quite nice. So let's go on there. We'll take a little bit of foam tape just running through the middle. And you could then put some flowers on or decorate in any way you want to. But I'm just going to do nice and simple at the bottom, nice and even. Let's see, again, my glue around. Let's take that little glue mark off. And we've got a very simple gold anniversary card done. But if you wanted to do a little bit more, if you wanted to actually add a little more detail or you want a larger panel and you don't want the marks in it. So I've got this panel here and I've cut this to size just to fit the anniversary. So I'll give you some measurements on this one. So this one is three and seven eighths by one and seven eighths. We'll just clean that one out. So this time we're just gonna do on your anniversary. So you can see the anniversary fits and we'll take on your from the set. So we put that on. But if I cut this into the card, I'm going to get these lines all the way around. So the best way to do that is I'm taking a scrap of card and I'm going to cut it to exactly the same size. So if you remember, this was, and my memory is not the best when it comes to measurements sometimes, which is why I love my guillotine. So it's three and seven eighths by one and seven eighths. So basically nearly four by nearly two. So this is cut to exactly the same size. So I now have two pieces of card that are exactly the same size. So what I want to do first is to take my stencil sentiments. So I'm going to tape down anniversary and I want to tape this down really, really well because we're going to cut through. 
so I don't want it to come off the card. And then I'm going to go on your. So we're going to put that evenly on as well. And we're going to take that down. And again, we we'll just move these out of the way. Bring our plates in. I'll just give my plates a little bit of a very quick clean. I tend to find a metal rule or one of the mini vacuums is perfect for this. So again, we're going to pop that on. Pop our top plate on again. And we'll simply run it through our machine. I'm using my Kaleido. So we're just going to run that through to cut it. So this is step one. So I'd, what I want to do is to take all of the pieces out. So what I don't want is to remove the die. So what I'm doing is I'm going in underneath on the back and just flicking them out. Or you can go on the front and just push them out. Always have your finger or a little bit of foam behind to push against, which makes them come out a lot easier. One of the best tips I ever learnt, that just pushing into thin air really doesn't work. Any bits that aren't quite right, there we go. So we'll check that we've now got on your anniversary. But if you see, we've got a little imprint of the die. So we simply take that die and put it on another piece exactly the same size. This time I'm going right at the edge because I need that level of increased pressure. And if necessary, I can use a shim. But we're just going to then run that through. So what we're doing is we're running the piece we've already cut with the dies in place through on top of the piece we want to use. So you can always use this with a piece of scrap or a different colour or have these masks ready made. And I'm going through forward and back a couple of times just to make sure that I've got a nice cut. And before I remove anything, I turn it over. And can you see there, it's not quite gone all the way through. So as with a normal die, I would simply shim that, add the plate on top, machine back in, and I'm now going to cut it with the shim, which just increases the amount of pressure that the machine gives. But using the metal shim gives you an even pressure all the way down. So here's the piece that's come out. I'm just going to pop the little pieces out of here. Now you will take a little bit more time perhaps than I'm doing. Just getting all the little bits out. And obviously they are a little bit harder to get out because it's cut through two layers of card. I would really recommend making sure that your shim is something like in a 200 or a 220, something like that. Don't do a thick sort of 300 GSM card because you're asking quite detailed dies to go through then a 600 almost because obviously it has to push through. So we'll just get the last bits of this out, but you can see oh, got a little bit of Y left. Let's just take that off. Remember, glue with heat, glue rubber will take off any bits hanging on the end. So you can see now we've got on your anniversary, but hopefully you can see there, we have none of those line marks. It's a lot, lot gentler. So I'm going to add a little bit of spray glue and I've cut another piece of gold here. So this has been cut to just an eighth of an inch bigger. So this is actually two by four. And we stick that on and we'll bring another one of those pieces in. We'll grab a little bit of foam tape. And I'd probably put it a little bit longer if this wasn't for a video. And we've got again, on your anniversary, but we don't have those deep impressed lines that we have with the first piece. And I'm hoping you can see there We've got those deep impressed lines. By, by making the mask, we actually cover it off and set it off perfectly. So two different ways to use 
your stencil sentiments, this time the anniversary set, to make very simple, effective cards and really easily get your sentiments on there and avoid having those really deep line impressions from the die pushing in. For more hints, tips and inspiration, why not visit Facebook and have a look at the Crafting with John Next Door and Crafts 2 Facebook. Music